Hey everybody, welcome back to another Monday Minute. We've been working our way through a series of quick Lightroom tips and tricks designed to get you working more efficiently in Lightroom. A couple of weeks ago, I showed you how to keyword your pictures using the map function. Today, I wanna show you how to add multiple keywords with one single click. Let's go. In this quick tip, I want to show you how to add multiple keywords with just a single click or even just a click and a drag. And just a reminder, photorec.tv slash Lightroom, you can find all of my workshops. Those are hours long Lightroom training, completely free to you. Link is right down below this video. But let's dive into the library module. This is where we're going to be working and adding keywords. And keywords are a really powerful way to help organize and find photos you're looking for later. And a lot of keywords work even after you put these images online. You upload to 500 pics or Flickr or Google Photos. These keywords become part of the searchable, searchableness of the photos. I want to show you this tool. It's the little spray paint can. It sits here down here on the bottom on this filter bar. You can choose to see it or not see it. See this little triangle right here? And we have all of these things, flagging, rating, color labels, all of those are off. Painter is on with a little check mark next to it. You can choose what you want to see by putting check marks next to it. I'm going to grab this little paint can, spray paint can, and notice over here we have a couple of different options, mini options actually. We're going to leave it on keywords and in this spot right here, we're going to type waterfall, waterfalls, and water flow. I separated those, each of those, with a key or the comma. So we've got multiple keywords there and I want to apply them to these images right here. And with the spray paint can active, you can see it's my little icon. I'm going to click and drag through these image and it's going to assign the waterfalls, water flows to them. You can also click to add them if there's a couple here and there. Like we could add those to these down here. They're not, it's not quite a waterfall, but it's close enough and I'd like that to come up in a future search term. If you feel like you've made a mistake, you decide you don't want them added on here, you can hold down Alt, the spray paint can becomes an eraser, and then you can click to remove those keywords from those images. As you saw though, it's not just keywords that you can add, labels, flagging, rating, all kinds of information, even rotation. So this is kind of cool. Most of the time, Lightroom brings the images in and rotates them properly so they're in the correct orientation. But for whatever reason, I've got three bridge pictures here that are sideways. So I need to rotate those clockwise right. I can simply click or click and drag through the two of them and rotate them correctly. That's a quick way to fix the rotation of multiple images. And the last thing that I want to show is the fact that you can apply presets through here, settings. So instead of rotation, let's go to settings. Now this becomes a drop down of your presets. And here we go. I've got a night sky preset. I'm going to choose that and I'm going to apply it to this image and this image. And you can see that instantly they get a little bit brighter and take on that look. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe along with clicking that little bell so that you'll be notified of future tips, tricks, how-to videos, gear reviews, and travel. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.